and welcome back. I am Mrs. B. Tarleton, here to help you work smarter and not harder. If you are a teacher looking to add some visual interest into your lessons, a designer, marketer, or just someone looking to enhance your visual content, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to use the tool. I'm going to also be sharing some tips and tricks on how to edit the images that you do get just in case they don't come out exactly like you'd like. And I'll also showcase and show you some real world applications. Let's get started. So you head on over to canva.com. Over here on the left side, you will see Dream Lab. Click on Dream Lab and you will come up with this screen. All you have to do is describe what image is it that you would like let me know in the comments, what image would you create? Now me, because I'm the tropical one and I love everything tropical, I'm gonna go with an underwater tea party. So how about we do that? An underwater tea party. It's a charming scene of sea creatures like dolphins and octopus sipping tea at a beautifully set table on the ocean floor. What is it gonna give us? And I go over here and press create. Give it a moment, and there you have it. That's pretty impressive. It checks all the boxes. It did everything I wanted. It's on the floor, the ocean floor, dolphins. I see octopus in there. It's beautiful. Now, earlier I was playing around, and I asked it to create a logo for me, actually, for my channel, and this is what it came up with. When you include words in it, it often messes up the words, does things a little funky here and there, and they're not editable. If you click edit here, it's not gonna let you edit it right here on the screen. It's not that easy. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in this one, I notice everything looks good except tropical here is not spelled correctly. So once my image is highlighted, go up here to edit. And then we're gonna go over here to the left side, this magic studio, and let's grab the text. I'm gonna click on the text that I wanna grab. Click grab. Now we've grabbed that. All the text here. You still can't edit it here. You have to drag it to another page. So I added a second page and then go right here. Just click on it and drag it down. Once it's there, now you can actually edit. Double click, take out that extra eye, and then all I have to do is drag it back up to my design, and it is lined up perfectly, and it's spelled perfectly. So that's how you edit text. What about the other designs that we had? Let's go back, because I really like this one, but I don't like that it's turned at an angle because if you print the image it's going to be just like this. Notice we got two dots in here. We've got to edit that. This one over here we've got a lowercase p. Doesn't look too bad. I don't know what this is, why we added these words here, but we know now how to edit those out. The design, if I click on edit, go up here, we want to edit, grab, click on magic grab, and I wonder if it's gonna let me grab the palm trees. That's what I really like. Grab one palm tree. I could add more palm trees. I can add the leaves, which I love all of those parts. If I wanted just one palm tree, I could grab that as well. And now we have the palm trees and the leaves grabbed. Add a new slide. I'm gonna go up here, click on my image that I just grabbed and slide it down. Now I can adjust it. I can turn it however I would like. Make it straight. There we go. And then I would do the same thing here and grab my text. Go back over here, edit text, grab my text. And now I can slide it down. Didn't grab. 
There we go. If you want the rest, you could, of course, grab more text, get it all. Apparently, I missed that part. And you can adjust the angle. You can create so many different designs with this. It's just absolutely incredible. If I wanted to change the background color, I could. I can choose a photo over here if I'd like. Just all my features are over here. Whatever I want to add to that background, I can change it however I would like. If you want to change the font here, click on it. And then you can come over here and change your font. Don't know if I like those. I think I like their idea better. So what can you do with all these designs? These teachers, you can create stinkers, print them out and pass them out. So once you've created your design and you want to use your design, everything looks good. All you have to do is go right here, download. And then it's going to download it right to your computer. What do you think about this new dream lab in Canva? How will you use it? Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.